Ever wondered why everyone seems to be raving about low-carb diets lately? It's not just because they're the latest trend in the health and wellness sphere, but because many people find them effective for achieving their fitness and weight loss goals. Low-carb diets, as the name suggests, are all about reducing your carbohydrate intake. This isn't just about swapping out your morning toast for an omelet, but making thoughtful, informed choices about what you eat. The potential benefits of a low-carb diet are quite impressive. Think weight loss, improved blood sugar control, and even an energy boost. But remember, this isn't a one-size-fits-all solution, and the key to success is knowing which foods to eat and how much. So, are you ready to explore the world of low-carb foods and discover how they can help you achieve your health goals? Stay tuned to find out what foods you should be eating on a low-carb diet. So, what exactly is this low-carb diet everyone is talking about? Well, let's get to the bottom of it. A low-carb diet, as the name suggests, is a diet that restricts carbohydrates. Carbohydrates, but they're in everything, you might say. And you're right, they're in bread, pasta, sugar, and even your favorite fruits. But don't worry, this isn't about cutting out all carbs, just focusing on reducing them. So what's the big deal about? Well, when eaten in excess, they can lead to weight gain and other health issues. On the other hand, a diet low in carbs and high in proteins and healthy fats can help with weight loss, improve blood sugar control, and even increase your energy levels. Sounds like a pretty good deal, right? Now, there are several types of low-carb diets out there. You've probably heard of some of them. Paleo, for example, focuses on foods that our hunter-gatherer ancestors would have eaten. It eliminates grains, legumes, and most dairy. Then, there's the ketogenic or keto diet. This one is all about getting your body into a state of ketosis, where it burns fat for fuel instead of carbs. It's a pretty hardcore low-carb diet with carbs making up just about 10% of your daily intake. And let's not forget the Atkins diet, the granddaddy of low-carb diets. It starts with a very low-carb phase, then gradually adds carbs back in as you reach your weight loss goals. Each of these diets has its own benefits and challenges. And it's important to remember that everyone's body responds differently to dietary changes. So it's always a good idea to consult with a healthcare professional before you dive headfirst into the low-carb pool. Now let's dive into the specifics of what you can actually eat on a low-carb diet. If you're finding this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more health and diet tips. Ready to fill your shopping cart with low-carb goodness? Let's break down the low-carb food categories to help you make informed choices. First up, vegetables. But not just any vegetables, folks. We're talking about non-starchy ones like leafy greens. Think spinach and kale, cruciferous vegetables. Hello, broccoli and cauliflower and vibrant peppers. These veggies are low in carbs and high in fiber, making them a great choice for your low-carb diet. Next, proteins. Lean sources of protein such as poultry, fish, tofu, and eggs are your new best friends. They keep you feeling full and satisfied while also helping to build and repair tissues. Think of them as the building blocks of your body. Moving on to healthy fats. Yes, you heard that right. Fats can be healthy. Avocados, nuts, seeds, and olive oil are rich in monounsaturated and polyunsaturated fats which are essential for your body and provide a steady and sustained energy source. Now let's talk dairy. Low-carb dairy options like Greek yogurt, cheese, and unsweetened almond milk offer a good source of calcium and protein. But remember, moderation is key here. Lastly, fruits. While some fruits are high in carbs, there are several that are low-carb friendly. Berries, melons, and citrus fruits are not only delicious but also provide essential vitamins and antioxidants. So, there you have it. A quick rundown of the low-carb food groups. But remember, variety is the spice of life, even when it comes to a low-carb diet. Think low-carb means unlimited bacon? Think again. While it's true that a low-carb diet does allow for more freedom with protein and fat intake, it doesn't mean you can go wild with your portions. Just like any other diet, portion control and moderation are key to achieving your health and weight loss goals. When it comes to low-carb diets, it's not just about cutting out the carbs. It's about balancing your intake of macronutrients. That's proteins, fats, and yes, even some carbs. You see, your body needs a certain amount of each to function properly, and going too far in one direction can throw off that delicate balance. So how do you strike that balance? Start by understanding your own individual needs. Factors like age, gender, activity level and personal health goals all play a role in determining how much of each macronutrient you should be consuming. There are many online calculators and apps that can help you figure out your optimal macronutrient ratio. Next, get familiar with portion sizes. It's all too easy to underestimate how much you're actually eating. 
For instance, a single serving of meat should be about the size of a deck of cards, not half the plate. And when it comes to fats, remember that while they are an important part of a low-carb diet, they're also high in calories. A little goes a long way. Finally, practice moderation. Yes, you can have bacon on a low-carb diet but that doesn't mean it should be the star of every meal. Mix things up with a variety of proteins, fats, and low-carb veggies to ensure you're getting a wide range of nutrients. Remember, a low-carb diet isn't a free pass to overindulge, but with a little knowledge and some careful planning, you can enjoy a wide range of delicious foods while still meeting your health goals. With the right portions, you'll be on your way to a healthier you in no time. Wondering what a day on a low-carb diet looks like? Well, let's dive right into it. For breakfast, how about a veggie-packed omelet? Whisk together a couple of eggs, toss in a handful of spinach, some diced bell peppers, and a sprinkle of cheese. Pair it with a side of avocado for a dose of healthy fats. Oh, and did I mention this meal is packed with protein that'll keep you full till lunchtime? Speaking of lunch, let's jazz it up with a grilled chicken salad. Load up on leafy greens like spinach or romaine lettuce. Add in some grilled chicken breast, cherry tomatoes, cucumber, and a sprinkle of feta cheese. Top it off with a dressing made from olive oil and lemon juice. You've got yourself a flavorful, low-carb meal that's far from boring. Now dinner is where we can get really creative. Picture this, salmon cooked to perfection, served with a side of roasted Brussels sprouts and cauliflower mash. This meal not only looks gourmet but is also low in carbs and high in nutrients, you'll forget you're even on a diet. But what about snacks, you ask? Well, who said those have to be boring? How about some celery sticks with almond butter or maybe some Greek yogurt topped with a handful of raspberries? Even a few squares of dark chocolate can satisfy your sweet tooth without loading up on carbs. And there you have it, a day of eating on a low-carb diet. Full of flavor, variety, and most importantly, nutrients. With meals like these, who needs carbs? Want to make your low-carb journey a walk in the park? It's all about strategy, planning, and a dash of creativity. When grocery shopping, focus on the perimeter of the store where fresh produce, meats, and dairy items are usually located. Keep an eye out for hidden carbs in sauces, dressings, and even certain vegetables. Planning meals in advance can be a game changer. Design a weekly menu, including snacks and prep meals ahead of time to avoid last-minute high-carb temptations. Eating out? No problem. Many restaurants offer low-carb options or you can customize your dish. Consider salads with grilled protein, bunless burgers, or even a steak with veggies on the side. Don't be shy about asking for modifications. Staying motivated can be a challenge, but remember why you started. Celebrate small victories, whether it's resisting a carb-loaded treat or noticing a positive change in your health. With these tips, you're all set to rock your low-carb lifestyle. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more low-carb tips and tricks.